हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू लीड इलेक्ट्रिकल एकेडमी सो टुडे वी विल डिस्कस सिंगल फेस सेमी कंट्रोल्ड कन्वर्टर विथ डीसी सीरीज एक्साइटेड मोटर सो फॉर डीसी सीरीज एक्साइटेड मोटर द सेमी कंट्रोल्ड कन्वर्टर विल बी कॉमन सो फॉर सेमी कंट्रोल्ड एज वी डिस्कस दैट सेमी कंट्रोल्ड मींस देयर आर टू थायरिस्टर्स एज वेल एज टू डायोड्स सो इट इज कॉल्ड एज सेमी कन्वर्टर विच इज एक्साइटेड विथ which is excited with a series excited motor so for this motor we will consider series excited motor for series excited motor there are a field resistance and field winding is common so ra plus rf is the resistance lf is an inductance and motor will have a back emf so it will have a free wheeling diode which is parallel with a two thyristors and as well as two diodes which is connected to a source source we are considering as va or vs so source current or source voltage will be is and the load voltage will be i not so i not will be flowing through armature resistance field inductance as well as back emf through the motor so we will see the waveforms here so if you observe the waveforms from the source voltage the source voltage which be, will be common and uh, for the source voltage if you consider here from 0 to pi plus alpha 0 to pi it is having a positive half cycle and pi to 2 pi it is having a negative half cycle again 2 pi to 3 pi it is having a positive half cycle so for positive and negative half cycle should be alternatively changed for the source voltage source voltage we are considering as vs or va vs or va so this is the source voltage waveform next we will move on to the output voltage waveform for this output voltage waveform v not we are considering from alpha to pi from alpha to pi the thyristors if you see the thyristors t1 and d2 will conduct no t1 and d1 so we are considering this t1 and d1 so t1 and d1 will conduct here thyristor t1 and t1 will conduct from alpha to pi so the same peak so i am cutting here so the same peak will observe here t1 and t1 and from pi to pi plus alpha from pi to pi plus alpha if you observe from pi to pi plus alpha t1 gets commutated t1 gets commutated means t1 gets off condition t1 gets off condition and uh, the total load will be current will be load current will flows through the free wheeling diode so if you observe here the free wheeling diode is represented dfw so due to this free wheeling diode the current will be present current is continuous but the voltage will be zero so Uh, once again i am repeating from 0 to uh, source voltage from 0 to pi it is having a positive half cycle and pi to 2 pi it is having a negative half cycle and 2 pi to 3 pi it is having a positive half cycle and uh, for uh, the voltage waveform v not the output voltage waveform from alpha to pi if i am observing from alpha to pi alpha to pi the thyristor t1 and d1 will conduct and uh, from pi to pi plus alpha here if you see from pi to pi plus alpha the current will be continuous but the voltage will be zero so the output voltage will be zero due to the free wheeling diode action free wheeling diode action the output voltage will be zero but current will be continuous and uh, here the current will be continuous due to thyristor t1 and d1 and again from pi plus alpha to 2 pi pi plus alpha to 2 pi 2 pi here uh, if you observe from pi plus alpha to 2 pi the thyristor t2 and d2 will conduct t2 and d2 will conduct and t2 and d2 will conduct here it is observed here t2 and d2 will conduct uh, this is shown with the same waveform so the t2 and d2 will conduct the current will be continuous no so the current will be continuous again from 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha the free wheeling diode action takes place and the t2 gets commutated t2 gets commutated commutated means it will be turned off t2 
T2 gets commutated and free wheeling diode action takes place and the output voltage will be zero but the current will be present the current will be present so here also I am representing with free wheeling diode action DFW and the current will be continuous from 2 pi to 2 pi plus alpha again from 2 pi plus alpha to 3 pi again T1 and D1 will conduct no T1 and D1 will conduct so the same waveform will observe here so this is the cycle of uh, waveforms will be seen in the uh, single phase semi converter DC series motor next we will move on to the current equations similar to the single phase semi converter if I apply KVL in this loop so if you see here I am applying KVL in the loop KVL in this loop the VA the output voltage will be VA plus IA RA plus LA into DIA with DT plus EB so this is the voltage across inductor and this is voltage across resistor as well as back EMF this is the voltage VA so VA equal to VR plus VL plus EB from this this is for positive half cycle positive half cycle for positive half cycle the value will be VA plus VR plus VA equal to VR plus uh, inductor voltage plus back EMF in the negative half cycle in the negative half cycle the voltage the source voltage will be zero so VA will be represented with zero next as you know the VA value equal to if you observe in the waveform the thyristor conducts from alpha to alpha to pi see here it will conduct from alpha to pi so I am taking the boundary limits as alpha to pi only so the average voltage VA equal to VA equal to 1 by pi for half cycle and the boundary limits are from alpha to pi Vm sin omega t d omega t sin omega t d omega t so from this uh, the Vm will be constant so I am taking out Vm by pi uh, sin omega t integration will be minus of cos omega t and uh, the boundary limits are from alpha to pi so this is the Va value so the Va equal to Vm by pi 1 plus cos alpha 1 plus cos alpha this is the value of average voltage so if I substitute this in the equation as you know the cable in this loop if I apply cable in this loop armature resistance will be IARA and the field winding also there no so for field winding the KF into IA into speed and K resultant into speed that is equal to VA equal to VM by pi 1 plus cos alpha from this as you know speed equal to VA minus this IA RA by this is a series excited motor no so for this series excited motor KF into IA plus K resultant K resultant but this VA VA we have calculated it no for average voltage uh, we have applied the boundary limits Vm by pi 1 plus cos alpha so I can substitute here the speed equal to Vm by pi 1 plus cos alpha minus Ia Ra by this Kf into Ia the constant and K resultant this is the speed equation for series excited motor for single phase semi converter this is the speed equation and next we will move on to the torque equation as you know in series excited motor torque is directly proportional to Ia square so if I remove this directly proportionality constant torque equal to Kf into Ia square so Ia square so the Ia value will be Ia value equal to Ia value Vm by pi 1 plus cos alpha minus K resultant into speed by Ra plus Kf into speed this is the Ia value so I can substitute here torque equal to Kf into Ia square so this is the Ia square value so we have calculated the speed equation as well as the current equation for series excited motor single phase semi converter next we will move on to the speed torque equations speed torque equations as I have discussed in the earlier for the series excited motor it will exhibit the 
uh, in inverse hyperbora characteristic so decreasing decreasing characteristic so as we discussed like this these uh, speed torque characteristics for series excited motor will be there so while decreasing the speed the firing angle also decreases so the firing angle decreases from alpha 0 30 60 and 90 so it will exhibit inverse hyperbola characteristics inverse hyperbola characteristics inverse hyperbola characteristics for the uh, series exited motor single phase semiconductor these are the things about uh, single phase semi-controlled converter for DC excited motor. Thank you guys. We will meet in next class.